Jakarta, a city of 11 million people, where motorcycles are the heartbeat of the daily transportation. But as EV adoption grows, one big question remains. How do we make it work at scale? Hi, my name is Jack Yang. I'm the CEO of Electrum. Today, I want to show you why battery swapping system is game-changing for EV in Indonesia. Let's go. One of the biggest problems with, with uh, EV adoption uh, is range anxiety. Uh, so people worry about that you run out of power in the middle of the streets with nowhere to charge. Also, charging takes a very long time. So in a city, busy city like Jakarta, that is not okay. At Electrum, we built 250 battery swapping stations strategically placed so that no rider is ever too far from their next charge. Just like that, our customers get on with their ride. No hassle, no waiting. That's why over 15,000 swaps happen every day in Jakarta alone. Now, let's talk about the real challenge with traditional EV charging, the infrastructure bottleneck. Jakarta, like most cities in Southeast Asia, has an aging electrical grid. Widespread home charging would require massive upgrades that take years and billions in investment. In Indonesia, streets are tight. And in Jakarta, real estate is expensive. That's why finding big space and build big charging hubs is not realistic and is not easy. Even with fast charging, you're still waiting at least 30 minutes to get back on the road. For commercial riders and fleet operators, that's lost income. Battery swapping removes all the barriers. No waiting and no worry. Uh, riders swap and go. So you don't really need home charging, no grid overload, and also no waiting. Now, let's talk about money. One of the biggest myths about EVs is that they are too expensive. But here's the reality. Battery swapping actually saves riders money. Gig workers like ride-hailing drivers and delivery couriers earn 25% more with electric EVs. Why? Because they spend less time fueling up and more time on the road making money. Waktu saya ngojek pakai motor bensin satu hari itu saya tiga puluh ribu. Tapi saya pakai motor uh, elektrik ini, motor listrik ini saya satu hari itu hanya sepuluh ribu. Ya lebih sedikit lah kalau kata saya lah ya. Jadi uangnya bisa buat jajan. Di saya saya menggunakan motor konvensional itu saya bisa menghabiskan budget untuk pantakar aja bisa tujuh puluh ribu. Sedangkan saya uh, menggunakan motor elektrum, saya bisa menghabiskan budget paling sekitar 25 sampai 30 ribu. Jadi memang ada spend lumayan uh, jauh sekali untuk uh, mengurangi biaya operasionalnya. So this is just the beginning. In 2024, we delivered more than 5,000 bikes and installed more than 250 battery swapping stations. And this year, we plan to serve more customers and reach more cities. Now, I know what you're thinking. You're thinking EV adoption isn't happening fast enough. Well, that's true across many emerging markets. But the truth is, EV adoption is a long game. Uh, there are three lessons uh, we learned from rolling out the battery swapping stations and building infrastructure. Lesson number one is that whether it's government policies or user behavior, 
or industry awareness, it doesn't happen over time. Uh, it actually takes a lot of time to educate uh, the customers to improve our product uh, and also to uh, advocate for uh, energy transition in Indonesia. So that it's going to take time. It's going to take a lot of investment, a lot of hard work and probably the support, not only just the private sector, but also public sector to make the transition happen. A lesson number two is that uh, even though the idea of building infrastructure is simple, but execution takes time. Electrum didn't start out by rolling out 250 battery swapping stations. We started out with 10, and then we gradually learned the user behavior, we improve our technology, and then we roll out to more locations, 10 to 20 to 100, and now we're operating more than 250 battery swapping stations and support more than 15,000 swaps per day in Jakarta. The last lesson is that the reason why adoption isn't fast enough is because the gasoline in Indonesia is subsidized. That means the fuel is cheap. However, the subsidy will not last forever. Eventually, the subsidy will decrease, the gasoline price will increase, and then the EV adoption will accel accelerate as people value the massive running cost savings they receive from running an EV two-wheeler. Electrum is here to play the long game. We're not just only building for the present moment, we're also building for the future. And therefore, our goal is to roll out infrastructure, not only in Indonesia, but also the rest of the emerging markets. EV adoption isn't just about sustainability, it's also about efficiency, affordability, and also economic opportunity. Battery swapping makes EV adoption almost instant. That's why we believe it is the future of urban mobility in Indonesia. So the real question isn't if battery swapping is taking over. It already has. Are we ready to swap and ride? Let's go.